Hey you guys, I'm doing the most rush get ready with me ever and I'm showing you guys like my actual day-to-day -day routine. Like this is the makeup that I actually do when I have to be out the door. Um, this makeup took around 22 minutes um, and then part of why it took so long too is because I was talking. Usually I can bang this makeup out in 10 minutes so I'm going to show you what I do in like all the products that I use on the routine day to day. I also show you guys my um, my normal skin routine, like what I do in the morning. Um, I gotta run and this one's a bit rushed, but I do talk about um, the way that we rushed through our morning routine at the School for Troubled Girls and how every single minute was timed and how we had to do all our hair and makeup jammed into a short amount of time, like especially if we were going somewhere or our families were visiting. Uh, on the day to day, we didn't wear makeup, but we did like on special occasions. So this is how we got ready for that. And um, if you have any questions, list them in the comments below. And I love you dearly and I'll see you for the next one. I'm getting a little lip filler in an hour. So I wanted to do like one last get ready with me and I wanted to do like a get ready with me of like makeup I actually wear. And I'm also going to talk about like the grooming, like literally not like grooming children or whatever, like that are like routine, like showering and stuff like that. Because uh, as mundane as it seems, it's actually kind of interesting how we were on a timer for everything that we did. So this is going to be my routine. I've already prepped my skin and I'm going to quickly show you guys what I do for the morning. But usually like my morning routine, I like to spray this mist. Um, I don't know if it does anything, but I love this mist. It's like ultra fine and you can like spray it before and after makeup. And then I always go in with like a hyaluronic acid serum. So lately I've been using this one. This is by Dermatology, it's their Needleless Serum. And then this moisturizer, this is the one product that has been with me for years. It is for dry skin. It's the Rose Hydra Nourishing Oil Cream from Darfan, Darfine, I don't know how to say it, but this is my favorite um, moisturizer brand. And sometimes I change to like their Hydra Rich Cream instead, like I like to swap every now and then. But I've been using this for like a few years and it's like, if there's one product that I never show but use chronically, it's this one. So I wanted to finally share that because brands send me stuff all the time and I'll like, I will use it and I'll feature it. But like this is something that I buy that I would die for. So just so you know. Then I always do SPF. So you never see me really doing SPF in my videos and that's because usually when I'm doing my videos, I'm like, not going anywhere or I'm going out at night, but today I have to drive an hour to my lip appointment. So I'm gonna be in the car or whenever I do like client days or stuff or anytime I'm ever have to be in the car, I will always put SPF. And I like the Dermatology brand. I also like the uh, Elta MD. They have all different ones. So I also have their tinted one, which I use that. Um, sometimes in place of a tinted moisturizer, but today I'm gonna use a tinted moisturizer. Uh, and this is my go-to, it's dirty, and that shows that I use this. Man, do I use this. This is one of my favorite like skin tints, and everything I'm using today is what I would actually use like in my real life. And because I'm in a hurry, I'm gonna underpaint, and that's another thing that I like to do. I'm gonna use these two products. I'm gonna use the concealer from the Temp2 brand, and then I'm gonna use the Charlotte, uh, this, the thing, the thing that everybody has. Whenever I'm in a hurry, I like to lay my bronzer and stuff down because I don't have time to be blending like all day today. So let's talk about, while I'm doing this, let's talk about the School for Troubled Girls. So um, when we were there, all of our like grooming time and everything, like we had to look presentable, but not that much so. And we had to take showers, like showers and hair washing was mandatory. Every time you showered, you had to wash your hair. And like, so every day you washed your hair pretty much. And then if you, 
had a shower if you were on the interval of showers in the morning because they didn't have enough time to have the whole dorm shower. So 10 would shower in the morning and 10 would shower at night. And so if you were on the morning shower, then you also had to blow dry your hair. And it was really a stressful morning because, um, because you had 10 minutes to take a shower and wash your hair. Then you had 10 minutes in front of the bathroom sink um, and you had to like brush your teeth and wash your face and put on any, if you wanted to wear makeup, you could do it in that time. And then you also got 10 minutes in front of what they called the vanity and it was not a, it was not a legitimate vanity, but they called it vanity time. And that was when you would also like finish your hair or if you were gonna wear makeup that day, you could do your makeup in that time. Um, but most people needed both the 10 minutes in front of the sink and some additional time to get their hair dry because some girls had super like long, coarse, thick hair. So some people pretty much never had time for any makeup or anything. And then if you wanted to style your hair, you'd have to do it within that time as well. So it was like 20 minutes pretty much, but maybe deduct like five for anything you needed to do in front of the sink, like brush and floss. Uh, you weren't allowed to do those things like outside of your designated time. So it's just was, this is the Tower 28. It was just kind of like an interesting thing. Like we were always timed and it was really hard to, in particular, it was really hard to get in and out of the shower in that amount of time. Um, like you learn to do it uh, and they had like markers. So they'd say five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, and they'd make sure that you heard. And then when it, there were two minutes left, they'd say two minutes, ladies, two minutes, two minutes. And then when it was one minute, they're like one minute. And it got like more and more aggressive as like the time was uh, running out. And sometimes there would be a new girl in the dorm and she'd be like still in the shower, like the water would still be on or something. And they'd start yelling at her from over, uh, from over the sink or whatever. And it sucked because if you were behind the new girl, then it would take away from your time because when they called time's up, you had to be out and the next person got in and you waited at the two minute mark outside of your shower so that you could jump in because you weren't gonna get like any extra time if the person took a little extra. So you'd be like tapping your foot. You'd be like kind of bothered if there was a new girl there today. <laughs> it's just like kind of frustrating because it's taking away from your time. And yeah, so pretty much nobody ever wore makeup like on the day-to-day -day routine unless you knew that you were going somewhere, like say they were taking you to the doctor, which was really uncommon. Nobody really went to the doctor, but let's just say they did. You would probably want to wear makeup that day because it'd be like the only time that you got out into civilization. Or if we were like going to church or something, then we would all wear makeup in that time because it was the only time that like we felt almost normal. And there was also like guys are Asian church. So like, I know for one, I wasn't showing up to church without any hair and makeup on. We went to church like three times a week and we would usually, um, we would almost always, it was like a ritual to like take showers. They would have a shower before church on those days if you were a night shower. Uh, and so we would like get ready for that. And um, you know how like girls like kind of get together and they all get ready? That's kind of like, like what girls like to do. Like I liked to do that even in the program because it just made me feel like a normal person. So even though we didn't have like tons of different makeup options and like clothing options, a lot of the time the clothes that we wore were like super embarrassing. Uh, we still liked that ritual of like getting ready. I love these uh, cream clay eyeshadows from Mob. I'm gonna use these today. This is like my real tutorial. If I'm like in a rush, I'll like do this as makeup. They're like these pinky, like pinky, orangey, pretty colors that just kind of like wake up. Makes me feel alive a little bit, just like wake up the eyes. So yeah, we would like get ready. And sometimes in the comments, somebody would be like, why did you even need makeup to go to an all girls school? Well, we really didn't wear makeup on the day to day, but we did wear makeup when we, go, when we went places. And also like you try going without makeup for more than a year, sometimes two years, like, Nobody wants to do that. Even girls who are like tomboyish, like who you knew that they like, were like on the more like 
androgynous side of things, even those girls sometimes would put on makeup. Like it would be rare, but sometimes they would. And I think it's just because it was just the ritual of it. I'm gonna set that color. Uh, I love these cream clay ones, but they don't stay as well as I'd like them. So I'm just gonna put this pinky shade on top. And in my day-to-day -day routine, I'm mostly like a dewy skin and like a matte eye. And that's just what I like. Actually, not even, not always a dewy skin, but always usually a matte eye. Unless I'm going like out, like sometimes I do my makeup for YouTube or shorts before I like go out, out. But let's be honest, I don't go out that much. So most of the time, this is how I will look. Just normal. I have like two daily looks. This is one of them. I also do a bronzy one. It just depends on the mood. And then I just do what I feel like doing. And oftentimes, if I wanna look nice quickly, I will throw on a strip lash. And it's because I have this theory that if I look nice, the people who are doing like injection stuff on me will try a little harder to not like mess it up. And I don't know if that's true and maybe that's like a messed up thing to think, but like even when I go and do people's makeup, I always try to look nice because I feel like they can settle in a little bit and just have a little bit more trust. Um, this is my favorite mascara. This is the Makeup Forever Professional. But because I'm gonna put a lash, I'm just gonna put on enough to like coat the eyelashes and I'm not gonna sit here and try to build it up like I usually would. Usually I'd sit with this mascara and like really go for it, but right now I just literally need to get moving because I'd like to eat something beforehand too. Because you guys, if you've ever had your lips done, you would know you start to swell and it's over. It's hard to eat. Of course you can eat, like you can do all these things, but like I wanna eat first. I feel like it'll hurt a little bit less and then I don't wanna be like moving my freshly poked lips like to have like a big lunch right after. The appointment's at two. Oh my God, what even time is it? Okay, the appointment's at two. I have to leave here by 105. It's 1248 FML, but I'm almost done with my makeup routine. I'm putting on this Ardell Wispy. And it's so funny because Ardell has so many different Wispies. I'm always like, which Wispy is that? But this is the 705. I don't know how it's different from the others, but I just know that it is. Cause there's like the Demi Wispy, there's the original Wispy. This is not the original. There's like longer ones and shorter ones. Um, but yeah, so anyway, so that's how we got ready at the school for troubled girls. So on also on past weekends, we would take all the time that we had to get ready, like all of that 10 minutes in front of the mirror and the 10 minutes at the, um, at the quote unquote vanity would be spent using that time. Cause sometimes you wouldn't need the 10 minutes at the vanity. Sometimes you would, but if you wanted to like straighten your hair or something, we were allowed one iron in one curler, I think. I actually had a waiver um, because I've been doing my hair like that for like, since I was 14 or 15. And if you wanted to do your hair and your makeup, you'd be a little bit pressed for time. Like you need every single minute. Sometimes if there was a nice staff on board, they would give you um, a few extra minutes before after breakfast, like we'd go back to the dorm and put stuff away or something. If you got a nice staff, she might let you get ready for a few extra minutes in front of the vanity. But not every staff gave that option. Not every staff was nice. So it really just depended. But they also, um, they gave us that time too because some they wanted us to look good and healthy when our parents came. And they also wanted us to look well kept in church because this is like a southern couple who wears like pancake makeup who like ran the place like they were really took their image really seriously so if you were like well kept and you like even like wore makeup sometimes when you weren't going anywhere 
they would notice that and they would use you in the future for like other opportunities to like sell the program. And for us, like at the time, we didn't know that we were out like doing free labor or whatever and like putting money in their pockets. We just thought that we got the privilege to get out. We felt good about being chosen because we're a bunch of rejected kids <laughs> living in Alabama with like no love and support. So we wanted to do those things and we took it as like a personal compliment to us if they wanted to like use us in that way. Um, this is a translucent powder from Makeup Revolution and I'm liking this a lot. I discovered it in my drugstore routine and I've been using it on the reg ever since. I'm also just gonna put a quick lip oil on. I need to soak up these lips because if they're dry, it's just, it's gross. It's gross to go into a lip appointment with crusty lips. This is Naked Sundays. I really like this. And I like to set my face with a puff and I don't see one. Let me go grab one. Look how many I have. I have two of these big packages. I bought like 500 at a time because I use them for me and I go through a lot of puffs and I also use them for my clients and each client gets a new one, obviously. I don't reuse these, so I always have to have them. And when I'm setting my face like in a hurry, I don't bake, I just like take this and go to town. And on clients, I always do their foundation one half or one shade darker because look what happens. It made me pale. Uh, baking and a lot of loose powders, unless you use a colored one, which I don't really like to do that because then it darkens. I don't mind if it lightens because I've already prepped for that, but if it darkens the skin and it's, it's just less predictable for me. So I'll always go on my foundation clients just like a touch darker so that when I set it, it looks like the perfect shade. But I don't give myself that same courtesy because I'm not like mixing a custom match. I'm just like slapping on whatever I have unless I'm like doing a proper tutorial or something. So I just rig it for myself. So oh, all my bronzers are too dark for me and I've been noticing in my tutorials lately, I've been looking messed up by the time I add the bronzer or whatever, but this Fizzy Art one is my shade. It's the only one that I have that is my shade. So I'm gonna use this today. And I use this a lot on my day to day. And I really like this Live Tinted brush. It's like a nice brush. And I'll usually opt for con uh, bronzer instead of like contour. And I don't really do a lot of blush either, but I kind of put my bronzer where my blush might go. And honestly, I powdered first, but I shouldn't have. Really, I should have bronzed first because what I find happens when you powder first is like sometimes you miss certain areas or you over powder certain areas. So then the makeup doesn't stick, but it'll make a, it'll stick to like the skin kind of next to it. And then, um, and then it's patchy and there's no good way to fix patchiness because when you add more, it usually doesn't look uniform anyway. It'll like, again, stick more or less to other areas. Like right here, there's a little bit of patchiness. So really I should have bronzed before powder, but lately I've been forgetting to do that and I've been just messing up my base. Also there's highlighter left over in this side of the brush. So if you see any shimmer, you're not hallucinating. It's the brush, it's not the bronzer because this is a matte bronzer. Uh, this is Viseart, by the way, and it's um, VBR bronze. Okay, I'll just link it. It's a light bronzer. I'm trying to say, I always do too much bronzer. And it doesn't look how I think in my head it looks, but I'm addicted and I can't stop, so. I'm always overly bronzed. Now, I usually wouldn't do lip because I'm going to my girl, but I'm gonna show you guys like my daily lip. It's pretty much almost always a ColourPop lip liner. 
and it's usually actually a cooler tone than this, but this is what's right in front of me. This is BFF. My favorite is Ashton or Cool BFF. This one's a little bit warmer than them. But generally speaking, like people, like my clients and stuff, they actually like BFF more than Cool or Ashton. But I have a weird um, obsession with my lips. Like they have to look a certain way or else I feel ugly. Yeah. And I don't know, I don't know why I'm like that. Also, this Shiseido Color Gel Lip Balm. This is one of my go-tos for just every day. It's in the shade 101 Ginkgo. And look, it doesn't twist up anymore because I've finished it. Cute story about this. One day I was in Sephora with my boyfriend and he's like, I was like looking at it and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna buy this. I've been wanting this. He's like, I'll buy it for you. What else do you want? You want anything else? They're so cute. And now I'm gonna have to buy my own. I should actually tell him he should buy it. Because every time I use it, I think about that story. And it's just, what did it cost? At most, probably with taxes, $29. So for $29, I've been thinking of him every time I pick it up for the last year. That's a good strategy for him. I love this. I'm probably gonna have to scoop that out eventually. Let me show you. It's like so used up. But I know I had lip gloss on first, but like the gloss to this, it's beautiful. I also love the CoverGirl 230, but I always use that one. So here's something different. Um, I'm just wearing leggings. I only ever wear leggings. I got this aloe top at Goodwill. I love aloe. Um, it's freaking expensive, but like I always shop their sales and get a ton of stuff. And um, I was at Goodwill one day and I saw this shirt and it was like new, new for $12, like what, what? Like they obviously didn't know what it is because in LA now, the Goodwill people, they're a little schemey. Like they charge a lot at Goodwill nowadays. It's crazy. And so I felt good about that. I'm gonna also uh, put mascara on the bottom. I always do that and I forgot. And then that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for getting ready with me. I don't know when I'm gonna look decent enough to do another video. It kind of depends. There's not, I'm not doing a whole syringe. I'm actually just going back to use the rest of a syringe that I paid for like three months ago. There might, there might literally barely be anything left in it, but they're really expensive. So I know that if I don't use this, then I'll want a whole new one in two or three months anyway. So really it's a savings. I do have to pay a fee to use the rest of it, but it's, Definitely less than using the whole thing later. And yeah, I have a complex about my lips, which I feel like I always talk about because uh, my starting point, I had like, like that much of a top lip, like, <laughs> that looks like my old, old smile. I just saw it in the monitor. So sometimes I can't tell if I'm actually lipless or if I'm deranged, I don't know. Um, but thank you guys for getting ready with me and I hope to talk with you soon. Uh, see you for the next one.